Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I am here with the Stash Life Saturday, so I'm going to be doing this page about my girls doing a painting of BB-8 from Star Wars. And uh, this is something that they did over the summer, and it was a lot of fun, so I just wanted to go ahead and do this. So I pulled this picture to use with this kit that I pulled for the Victoria Marie um, Make the Kit course, because a lot of it has orange in it. Um, I am using mainly the Amy Tangerine, um, it's the Yes Please, I believe. Yeah, the Yes Please collection. So that's mainly what I'm using here. I think almost everything I use in here is Amy Tangerine and Studio Calico. <laughs> so, and most of it's Amy Tangerine. Um, but she has a lot of oranges in her collections. And since orange and gray are kind of the main colors in my pictures, I wanted to really go that route. So I have a piece of orange cardstock that's going to be my back, and then I pulled a piece of gray paper from the um, paper pad, and then um, I just have a couple other scraps that are both from the Amy Tangerine paper pad as well as this orange card here that I'm going to use. Um, I got those Tim Holtz tonic scissors. I just got those, <laughs> and so that was kind of my first time trying them out. I got to get used to them. Um, I've been wanting them for a while though, so I finally got them, got myself a pair. All right, so now I'm going through um, my tray here with, for my kit and just kind of pulling some things that I think I'm going to be able to use. And I'm really trying to stick with like oranges and grays and blacks. That's really my color scheme for this layout here. All right, so I think I have a good idea of what I want to use here, so I'm going to go ahead and. Um, start getting my layers ready. So I just had to clean up the edges on that orange card. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Um, it ends up being about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And it's just a nice um, distressed gray. So I really like that and it looks nice on the orange as well. Then I'm going to cut this journal card down a little bit. That's where I'm going to do my journaling. And then I'm going to use this paper pad from her plus one collection and I'm going to pull out a few things here that are going to be able to work and I'm just going to layer up a few of these six by six papers. So I pulled an orange one that has arrows, the gray one that has frames, which I really like since um, my girls are holding up paintings. And then I'm trying to find one other one, I'm just not sure what I want to use. So I decided to go with this one here. And it's like a very dark gray and white stripe. All right, so I have those there, and um, I decided I'm going to outline everything. I want it all to really make sure that it comes together, so I'm just gonna take my Sharpie, and I'm going to do a double outline around all of the papers that I'm using, including this large one here. And then I'm gonna turn that over and use it to uh, do the rest of my papers. And I'm using my scissors here to fishtail this um, banner part here. So it kind of it becomes more like a banner. The only thing with the tonic scissors was um, it left kind of like a ridge on it, on the cut, only on one side though. So it's kind of strange. So I'm cleaning it up with my other scissors here. So I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> it might've just been the angle that I was holding the scissors at because I'm just not used to using them yet, but I'll have to see about that. But if it's gonna do that for paper, I may not use it for paper. I may use them just for like the harder things that are hard to cut through. Um, so we'll see, I'm gonna play around with them more. All right, so I'm doing my double outline on this here, as well as all of my other papers, including this little journal card. And this card, I'm going to be covering most of it up, but I'm not sure exactly how it's going to lay, so I'm just going to go ahead and outline the whole thing anyway. It only takes a second. And then this card here is where I'm going to do my journaling. And then I'll do all my other papers as well. So um, in our town, there is a local woman who is an artist, and she does like the... Um, the lessons, I guess you could say, where you go and you paint and she walks you through it. And over the summer, she had a kids series that were paintings for kids. And so I looked at the schedule and they had a BB-8 one. And uh, oh my gosh, my girls were so excited. <laughs> so we had just um, 
gone to Disney and seen some BB-8 and everything. So um, I signed them up to take the course and they went and it was a lot of fun and they both did a really great job and those pictures are now hanging up in our house. Um, so it was really cool. Alright, so I backed my picture with some black cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything down. I really like the way that gray looks on top of the orange. I think it's nice. Alright, so I'm going to have to work with my layers here and kind of figure out exactly how I want them to lay, get them exactly right. This can be the trickiest part sometimes, getting them all spaced out. <laughs> I want to keep that word currently on that orange card there showing, but that's the only thing that's going to show. So I'm going to shift it up a little bit because I need to work on my title. I need to make sure I leave enough room on the bottom for my title to go. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that now. And I'm using these Amy Tangerine vellum letters and I'm going to use the orange ones and I'm going to use those to spell out the word painting and then I will use some other thickers to spell out the word BB-8. So they're going to be two different letter stickers um, to make my title here. So there we go. <laughs> it was a little painful getting those off, especially the G. I had to like almost cut it out. It was crazy. And then these stickers here are called Meadow. And as you can see, I really don't have that much left, but I had two B's and an 8, so I went for it. All right, and now I have this map from Disney World. This is from Hollywood Studios. And I um, grabbed a handful when we were there of all the maps of all the parks that we went to, I grabbed like four or five maps. So that way, when I do start making my albums, I can cut into them like this and it's not a problem, I have other maps. So um, I took one of the Hollywood Studio ones that has BB-8 on the front and I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut him out and I'm gonna use him on the layout as well. So I was really glad I grabbed a few. And don't worry, there's no shortage of maps, believe me. <laughs> they had millions of maps, it was crazy. All right, so now I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put them, because I'm not quite sure. Um, I am gonna cut off those words on the bottom, I just I haven't done it yet. So I'm trying to see, where does he wanna peek out from? Do I want him there? Do I want him on the bottom? Do I want him here? So I'm just, I need to think about it and figure out exactly where I want him to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these words off. And then I stick them right there. And I really, really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. All right, so now I need to put everything where I want it to go and shift everything down. As you can see, I have not put any glue down yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything straight and aligned and where I want it and then I'll pick up my layers here and I'm going to use my tiny attacher and I'm just going to throw a staple on there. It goes through all the layers, everything stays where it is so nothing's going to go shifting around on me and then I'm just going to sneak in a little bit of adhesive under some of the layers here. So just a little bit of adhesive don't need too much between the layers there, just a tiny bit, just to make sure it's not gonna shift to the left or right. And I really like the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my picture down. Go ahead and put BB-8 down here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my title down. So for the chipboard thickers, I am using my Scotch Quick Dry adhesive to reinforce it because chipboard thickers do not like to stay for the long run. So um, I always just take a few extra seconds and put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And then the vellum, I don't need to do that. So there's Kaylin <laughs> hitting my camera, gosh, and telling me she likes my layout. So <laughs> I forgive her. All right, so I'm getting my vellum layers down here as well. I really like those vellum letters. They're really pretty. The font is nice and they're just pretty. I like them. All right, so now I'm gonna go through the sticker sheet from Amy Tangerine and try to find something else to put on here. I find this one that says you are my fave so I'm going to put that at the top of the journaling and it's orange 
And now I'm going to do my journaling and uh, just talk about how the girls love BB-8. And then as soon as we saw that there was going to be a painting class for it, I signed them up immediately. And I'm writing and I'm writing. And I'm good on that. And then I look up and I see a little package of puffy stickers and there's an orange heart on there. So I was like, oh, I'll use that. <laughs> it wasn't even in my kit. <laughs> but this is an Amy Tangerine as well. So I'm going to use this orange puffy heart right next to the title there. And then I have some of these word tiles here. This is from Amy Tangerine as well. Um, and what does that one on the top say? Actually, I have it right here. Let's see what that says. The one on the top of one of the pictures says, Just Plain Wonderful. And then the one next to BB-8 says, Oh, yes. Part of my head, I had to get it straighter because it was not straight. <laughs> and then uh, there's nothing else on there that I want to use, so I'm going to um, put those back. And now I'm going to pull out these um, little star cutouts from Studio Calico. They're almost like sequins, but they're uh, paper. So I'm just pulling out some orange stars. I'm going to put three in each cluster here, or each area. And I'm just going to run it across my ATG here and just get a little bit of adhesive. Since they're paper, it sticks really nicely. I don't need to use glue dots or anything like that. And it's just a nice little detail there with the orange. And so I'm getting all those down. There we go. <laughs> and I had to throw that one away because it was um, torn a little bit. So I'm just going to grab another one. Stick that down there. And um, I'm going to add some enamel dots. These are black. I think these are from Studio Calico as well. I just don't have the packaging anymore. Um, but I'm pretty positive that that's where those are from. And then I have this Mr. Huey's from Studio Calico as well. I'm going to use this mist. This is an orange neon mist. And this is something that they had a very long time ago. They had a little special edition um, neon Mr. Huey's Mist, and I grabbed the collection. Um, so this one is called Trapper Keeper, and it's just a really bright orange. It's really, really pretty. So I did some splattering there, as you could see. It turned out pretty well, and I'm really happy with that. So um, I have some close-ups coming up here. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will try to answer them. Um, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.